garden friends welcome back to my channel i'm rose in the garden and i garden in southern california zone 10a and look at these beautiful snapdragon blooms these are all from my cut flower garden i started from seed back in january if you've seen any of my previous videos you know i've been just babying and nurturing these beautiful snapdragons I have about a dozen different varieties and they are all just bursting with blooms right now. In fact, there are so many. I'm harvesting um, all of these uh, today so that we can share them with friends, family, and just, um, just people around the community that need a smile um, to their day. So I'm going to make some arrangements in some mason jars and uh, just kind of spread the blooms of my snapdragons. And um, anyway, I wish you were here and I can share them with you, but you can enjoy watching them, watching me put together um, these arrangements. And um, as we harvest and cut down the current blooms, we'll have another um, uh, growth and spurt around the garden with snapdragons, hopefully throughout the summer and even into the fall season. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I love sharing the garden with you, especially my um, cut flowers. And um, I've been learning a lot. One thing I did learn about these snapdragons is many of the varieties that I have grown definitely require some staking. Um, they've grown so tall that when they start to bloom and well when they start to bud and then bloom the tops are so heavy and even though i know several um, cut flower farmers have always said to you know put in your support um, netting beforehand i thought you know they probably won't get that heavy and tall um, and i was completely wrong so lesson learned for next season i will definitely put in, be putting in some support netting because they all kind of topple over when they get top heavy. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoy watching the video today and all the different Snapdragon blooms. guys I am all done I was able to get 11 bouquets in these mason jars uh, and didn't they turn out so pretty I love the mixed varieties and colors in each bouquet and I stuck a few just little filler sprigs here and there that I had uh, but mostly just wanted each bouquet to just 
feature the beautiful fresh cut snapdragons. The apricots, the silvers, the velvet reds, the apple blossoms, the lavenders, so many different varieties. So I, I'm off to the local nursing home to share these with some of our friends over there, hopefully to bring a smile to their day. So thanks for watching the video today, guys. And I hope you were able to get out in your gardens this weekend. Um, and hopefully your flowers or whatever plants that you have that are going to starting to bloom and you can enjoy the beautiful blooms of your labor. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video.